hear how this guy who had a very hard and tough times, which almost made me cry. Those who are going through adversity, then it's a must listen. And it's always best if you listen to it with earphones, headphones to get the most out of it. I trust that you learned something from this conversation. Wishing you an awesome weekend and good luck. Bye now. Uh, I feel like I'm lucky because I've had a really good life overall. It's been fantastic, but you get the good with the bad. And it's kind of like a roller coaster. And then I grew up thinking, if I just get to this point, things will be better. You know, you grow up in a, an abusive family and uh, go through hard times. And then you just think, if I make this much money, I'll do this. And then uh, you work really hard. You make a significant amount of money, money and end up becoming depressed. And then the financial crisis takes it away from you to remove that uh, aspect of your life. And then you are listening to Abraham Hicks on a beach, walking in Mexico, thinking, I found peace. <laughs> and I'm just going to surrender. And the following day, your life falls apart. Everything that you thought you wanted <laughs> comes in. Not the good, but also the fears. And... Uh, you just got worn out that's what happens when you get tuned in you can feel the offness and the question about what to do next is really extra active we'll listen to you more so at that point I was just like I'm done it's time to be part of non-physical and the, and I just felt the release and I just thought it's time for me to go and I woke up a couple days later in ICU uh, after having trying to take my own life and I'm like, I came in and manifest death. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, the good news is, is that looking back, it's, it's all been a, a blessing. I, I, and I found a, finally a place of contentment, which I used to think was a swear word. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And like I said, I look back at my life and I'm just like, this has been really wonderful and I appreciate uh, everything. But now that I've found contentment, I, I'm not sure... Where to go with that i'm just i i hate to ask a why or what's next i just i've been going with the flow and i've been enjoying it but i i just you get a little nervous you may activate things from the past well, we're going to have a really good conversation here and you're right at the point where you'll hear it easily and we really appreciate the setup that you've given for this conversation and the activation of the energies in the room around it and so this is going to be helpful to a lot of people and especially to you so your description really accurate and good description really very good with words describes how most people do live their lives and by that we mean they react to life as it's coming so that it's a series of reactions and it's a physical action oriented doing the best you can given the circumstances that you're living in sort of life now the underlying and important thing that was happening during all of that that you weren't consciously aware of but that your inner being was is that with all those ups and downs of reacting to life which caused you to want more and then the desire was stronger for a while so things got better and then you weren't consistent enough in it and so then it didn't happen the way you wanted it to so then you focused upon it not happening so it got worse and so it was actually going in the direction of what your focus was but you weren't really so aware that you were creating your own reality then and you weren't working in concert with a steady guidance instead you were using as guidance reactions of others and other humans they are a terrible gauge they're really fickle awful guidance to use because first of all they're not that interested in you not as much as you'd like to believe that they are and next most of them are not that stable either so it's just a bunch of bobbing courts on a raging sea sort of thing and then you get very philosophical about how your life's going and so not very satisfying but the underlying thing that is happening during all of that is that you are launching rockets of desire and the desire is I want to understand this I want to fulfill my reason for being I want to hook up with that greater guidance things that you knew coming in life has now buffered you about enough that you've launched those strong 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 rockets and we want you to hear this above anything that you ever hear ever 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 again from us or anyone else this is what we want you to hear
The universe always hears what you mean, not what you're saying. So your life caused you to offer a vibration, which caused you to create a vortex. So the meaning that you were radiating to the universe was not, I want out of this physical experience. The meaning that you were radiating was, I want to understand it. I want to flow with it. I want to be in the flow. I want to fulfill my purpose. I want to understand. I want to be deliberate. I want to have steady control of my own life experience. And so you did create that just right because what you thought you wanted, which was the bailing out of all the resistance, you didn't want out of life. You wanted out of the resistance, you see. And so your inner being, even with all of that intentionality, still helped you to accomplish what you really want, which is a stronger than ever zest for life and understanding about life. Is that helpful? We really want that to be helpful because for you to say, I can't even kill myself well, couldn't be a more bogus statement. The statement that you want to make is my inner being knows who I am and that will always be dominant. And I wasn't as far gone from my inner being as one might believe because here I am now with a new zest for life. Yes. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so now fast forward to now and you heard all of that. You got all of that. We know you got all of that. So now what? What's this moment in time about? So I, I feel like the weight's off a, a bit. Uh, so going forward, so what just if happened I... was we were ready to reveal to you a resistance lifting experience, and you were ready to receive it and did. Is that what just happened? Yeah, and um, and I feel like I just uh, now I want to do a little bit more of a fine tuning going forward because I feel like I've just I found a good flow, and I'm happy. And I've got great things coming into my life. Um, but to be honest, I'm okay with whatever outcome is. But then that's where it's hard to ask because am I okay in a relationship or out of relationship? And then you want both equally. How do you know? Oh, it's too complicated. And you can't get there from there anyway. So we're just going to take another approach to this. And we're just going to give you a universal law principle that we haven't been talking about for very long, but that you're really ready to receive. And when you get this one thing that we are going to convey to you here in a really strong state of clarity, you're going to get this and it's going to serve you enormously well. And all of that stuff that was going on just now, as you asked the question, is just going to lift off of you too. Here it is. Oh, we're out of time. No, here it is. No, 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 no. Here it is. Here it is. It isn't about anyone else, which is hard to hear because they're everywhere and they seem important to your life, but it isn't about any of them or what they are doing or your relationship with them. It's only about your relationship with your own inner being. It's only about your vibration. It's only about what's going on with your own energy within you. So when you get something from a situation or from a person that you don't like and you have a reaction to it, usually a negative reaction if you don't like it, if you could say to yourself, there's only attraction, there's only attraction, there's only attraction, there's only attraction. There is no assertion. So nobody else asserted that. Not God, not that person. Nobody has asserted anything. It's only attraction. I attracted this. Well, sometimes that's a really sucky thing to hear from yourself about yourself because you don't want it. And why would you attract something that you don't want? But start there. It matters that you start there. There's only attraction, only attraction, only attraction, only attraction. There's no assertion, only attraction, only attraction, only attraction. So here, Esther just had this epiphany really recently. Here's the thing that we really want you to hear. You know why? That's so surprising and maybe even concerning to you because you thought you had more control over your life and others with your words than you do with your action than you do. It's attraction, 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 attraction. It's vibration, 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 vibration. Doesn't matter what your words are. It's what you're feeling about something. And what causes the confusion, every bit of that confusion that you were introducing into the conversation here is because you say things and therefore you think you believe those things because you've been saying them for a long time, but the universe responds to you 
what you're offering vibrationally that's why you didn't die your words were about that your action even was about that but your vibration was something very different from that oh you're going to find such clarity and freedom when you finally own up. Esther had an experience with someone that she has a big reason to care about. Where her steady words for a long period of time were as if they didn't exist at all. And Esther had to realize, oh my God, I've got a vibration going that is different from my words. And that's why I'm getting this. And the contradiction that was going on in Esther's mind is, no, that's not what I believe because that's not what I say. Doesn't matter what you say. What you say is rarely in harmony with what you believe. The universe does not respond to what you say. The universe responds to your vibration and your vibration is what's real. You see, your vibration is your realness. And so don't ask the universe to respond to you differently than what you're offering vibrationally which means you got to own it you got to own it and sometimes it's a little shocking when you say well, I'm saying I love you but I really resent you I'm saying I'm proud of you but I really think you could be doing so much better <laughs> I say I want to be with you forever but really I don't care if I ever see you again right now because I am so mad at you so you've got yourself all confused because what you're offering vibrationally and therefore what the universe is delivering to you don't jive and then you want to blame it on all of them and read all the books about all the behaviors and all of the patterns and all of the studies and all of the stuff that just keeps you in a constant state of upheaval when all it ever really comes down to is you're not owning how you feel sometimes what you feel is the right thing Sometimes that is an asshole. <laughs> and so for you to try to make yourself the wrong one because you want to be spiritual. <laughs> so you want to own how you feel. Now, here's where it gets clear. Your inner being does not feel that way about them. You do. You don't want to feel that way about them, but you do. You got some aligning to do with your inner being that doesn't have anything to do with them. The bottom line is you're a lover. And just because they're not lovable doesn't mean that you are not a lover. So you don't do this to control the behavior of others. You do it to come in alignment with who you are. You got to love. You got to love. You got to love you. You got to love the others. You got to trust. You got to trust you. You got to trust the universal forces. Is this a little bit helpful? Can you sort of get where we're going with this? Let's just recap because again, we're over the segment. You are offering a vibration that often you don't want to own or admit because it doesn't fit in with the patterns that you've decided are the appropriate behavior for whatever, 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 whatever. And so it's a constant awareness and alignment process of figuring out what your inner being is thinking right now, right here about this, because your inner being is always right on your inner being walked every step with you. Your inner being experienced every beating you experienced. Your inner being knows all the people you ever knew. Your inner being knows all those ups and downs that you lived. Your inner being knows what you launched the rockets of desires, every single one of them. And your inner being rode the rocket every single time and took the evolution that your life produced for you. Your inner being just got there first. So your inner being stands in this attitude of enormous appreciation of the life that you've lived and the expansion that you've caused and holds that vibration so steady that you can't miss it. And when you use words to deceive yourself of what you're really feeling, you can't get back on track. Did you hear what we just said? If you're pretending through your words and action that you mean something different than you really do, then you're not ever going to sort it out. There's two ways to know what your vibrational offering is. One is what's coming back to you. And the other is how you feel.